Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another plugin tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed that intro. The intro was made by Minecraft Hosting App Pro, and uh, it was pretty cool. I thought so myself. So, today, I if you guys haven't noticed, I've changed my skin. I will probably be changing my YouTube uh, channel name as well, uh, but that will be in a different video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to set up Dynamap plugin or that day Dynamic Map plugin for your Minecraft hosting that pro server. But basically dynamic map uh, what this plugin does basically a good description of it is like a Google Earth for your Minecraft server. It's pretty cool and uh, that's what we're going to show you today. So let's hop right into it. Alright so here we are on Minecraft hosting that pro and as you see I'm running the Spigot 1.9.2 version and this is going to I'm just going to show you guys how to get this plugin. So go ahead and plugins and type dime map. And then it should come up the first one. Just click on that. And as you saw, I'm running the 1.9.2. And I am uh, use the alpha, then dynamic map uh, 2.3 alpha. This one works for the 1.9.2. But go ahead and check over the versions right here and uh, double check them for your uh, spigot version that you're running. So after you have installed your plugin and restarted your server, go into your plugins folder and then go into the dynamic or dynamap plugin folder and then we're going to hop into the configuration file. So here we are into the configuration and by default almost everything is already loaded how it should be but there's a few things uh, that I'm going to talk about. So uh, there's probably videos on YouTube that dive into it more of the configuration but I'm just going to dwell on a few things so one of the first things that I found was if we scroll down here uh, see if I can find it oh right here so uh, by default it will be hide ores and this way I find it very useful to hide the ores so players can't cheat and go it's almost sort of like x-ray but so players can't cheat and go find like diamonds and emeralds and iron and all that stuff so by default this is how it loads it loads with the hashtag just remove that hashtag and it will be set to true and you'll be good for that and then the next thing uh, specifically is right here the web server ports so by default uh, it'll be like 8192 I believe and so what you're gonna do for the web server port for Minecraft hosting app pro you're going to have to use the ports between 31,000 and 32,500 thousand I will put those in the description and on screen so you can see the port numbers so specifically for Minecraft hosting app pro those are the ports for need if you're using a different host then you'll have to contact them to see what ports are open but uh, as you see, I've chosen a random number uh, between the uh, 31,000 and 32,500,000, and I've chosen number 31,666. So that is the one I'm going to be using. Uh, go ahead and save it at the bottom right here. Go ahead and save it. And then after that, go ahead and restart your server. All right, so you want to copy this IP right here. And then open a new tab in your browser and put it out there, but don't hit enter yet. What you want to do is this port that you put right here, copy that, and then paste it right there in that port. And then now hit enter, and boom, there we go. We got we got the map loaded. That is sick. It's actually really cool. And as you see, there is some blank stuff. That is because the chunks haven't loaded in by your players. So uh, in the config file, just a little bit above this, by default there's going to be render triggers like this and then after you want your chunk to load on your map make sure you remove these both hashtags and then make sure to resave your config file restart your server again after you have saved your configuration files then we'll hop into the server alright so we have restarted the server and we're in game so I'll show you how this dynamic plugin works so as you see we are on this uh, the little website type deal and basically it's like a Google Earth of your server it's very sick so over here on the right hand side you can change your view to either surface uh, which is sort of like a 3d type uh, view I guess and oops we need to drag it over here zoom out stop <laughs> it does take a little bit for it to render on the little website 
that it's pulled up so just give it a few like minutes and it will load but as you see all the dark screen that is because those chunks haven't even been loaded yet so when you first do this plugin it might just be like a little dot like somewhere and it's not even loaded that's because those chunks haven't loaded so uh, for what I did for mine when I loaded all this I just flew around and then had this uh, server open for the website thing. I just had it open, just flew around and then waited for a couple minutes and then the chunks slowly started to load. So it is really cool and if you try to put your port in, at, like search it and it doesn't come up, either you have the wrong ports or either the port has already been taken. So make sure that you're using, if you're using Minecraft Hosting App Pro, that those ports are free and you have chosen the right ports between 31,000 and 32,500. So I'll show you how uh, this all loads. I'm going to go back to the surface type. All right, so here we are. We are just flying around. As you can see, my little head over here moving. It's pretty cool how this all works. So if we just fly over here, as you see, no one has been here before. It's a new world, and now the chunks are loading. So it's pretty cool that after you load it in game, it will take a few minutes, a few seconds, depending on how fast uh, your like how um, how fast your server is running and your internet and all that good stuff. It just depends. So if we fly over here. And if we wait a few minutes, then it should load in on the web. Alright, so we are back. And as you see over here, the chunks have started to load. It has been about like a minute and a half. So it'll probably take a minute to two minutes to actually load the chunk. chunk. So don't get like discouraged if nothing loads. Just keep the your this page, this page open and uh, you should be good. So as you see, it's starting to load. It's pretty cool. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below, but make sure you do everything I say, said in the video. And there we go, we got a new chunk loaded. So just do everything I said in the video and it should work. Uh, leave any comments below if you have any questions and I will look into it. So hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time, peace out.